this is my new technique now so I just finished styling my hair now again I'm going to make a video of how I did this hairstyle because the thing is the way I do my hair is just very random and all over the place I don't have like a specific way of always getting stuff done I'm still in the phase of experimenting with my hair because I have not been natural for that many years to have figured out everything like if I had relaxed hair I would know exactly what to do I can make a million videos on how to do relaxed hair but it's just not my reality right now so you just have to bear with me um, so I asked my boyfriend to get some ingredients from the store and we have garlic and we have lemon and onions so I'm going to make wings for dinner um, like I said previously I'm going to make lemon and herb spicy wings so I'm going to marinate the wings in some seasonings and chili powder and add some lemon and garlic in there as well and then I will make a rub separately like honey and maybe some lemon um, to put on afterwards like a glaze I don't even know if you can call it a glaze I don't know the right words for these things much like in the glue so first things first I need to wash the wings um, rinse them if you don't rinse your chicken or oh, the Lord is watching you <laughs> So I'm gonna rinse the chicken and then I'm just gonna season it and keep it in the fridge um, while he's taking a shower because he just got off work and after he gets out I'm just gonna put it in the oven but I'm gonna show you guys what seasonings I use at least so you can see um, I don't have like a setup right now for how I can like record um, these meal videos but at least you guys will still get to see what's going on and he also bought these tortilla chips um see that's why i wanted to start like a snack review channel because my boyfriend is always buying stuff he also bought some oreos i don't really like snacks but i'll eat a little bit with him i only like chips because they're not um sweet i don't like sweet stuff please don't ever buy me chocolate if you want to woo me buy me a bargain <laughs> but i want you to see me and the food at the same time i'm going to season the food now i think you can see me um, I don't really have like big plans. I will just tell you what I use and show it on the camera anyway. Um, in case you guys have access to these things, that's up to you and the Lord, Chile. Up to you, the Lord. So I just finished washing the wings. I'm just going to cut up the stuff now. I don't think I need an onion, but I do need the garlic. I'm going to cut up like uh, maybe two cloves of garlic because I want it to be really strong and i've also decided that i'm going to mix the seasoning in a bowl first and then add some oil and pour it over the wings so that everything is like fully covered because i don't really like to use my hands anymore when i'm like seasoning food this bowl here that i'm going to use to put the chicken in the wings to your bowl the ones that you rinsed i use this strainer to like drip out the water i also do this i mean on instagram or on the internet they have this routine of like drying the chicken with a paper towel but I don't really think that's practical so I'm going to use like the mincer that I did last time to um, put the chicken on I'm going to cut the garlic with even getting this combobulated just from brushing with this stuff now but let's hope it doesn't die soon so I mean the hardest part for me about garlic is like the cleaning there's so much to clean. So I have like really big clothes right now. If I had obviously my phone, I could like record one side with the phone, one side without the phone. But this is not a cooking channel. I just want to show you guys some some easy things and like a little glimpse of my life basically. So I've also decided that I want to use my creativity. I want to like explore my creativity more. If you guys don't know, my family is quite creative. Um, like my parents are both very creative individuals, and my siblings are creative as well. Like my, we all can draw very well. Um, my younger sister makes beats. My brother and I can dance. My sister is very good at like storytelling using her voice. MC that kind of stuff 
and also at music. She's actually a, is it a musician? Would I say a musician? I don't know, she's also a DJ now, officially. I can at least say that. I don't know about the other stuff. These um, cutters that we bought from Amazon. It's like a basket. So this is where you put the stuff. And then there's the, the handles. I took it apart yesterday because I realized you could actually take it apart and put it in the dishwasher. So that at least the stuff don't smell like onions all the time. Even though this is all you need for, you put it in like this, you put the vegetables here and then or the fruits or whatever you want to cut and you cut it. So I'm using the smaller blocks. You can't see but that's the one that I'm using because it has different sizes. I'm using the smaller blocks as they are ideal for this seasoning situation that I'm trying to do. I'm not going to like cut the onions very fine because I mean the garlic because I'm too lazy. I'm back with the part you smash the stuff with. And you just put it in there and close it. Cubed garlic already. Let me shake it up maybe. You can see here. It's like all cubed very nicely. I will be using cabana spice, coriander, chili pepper, salt and all that stuff. But I need to charge the camera for a little bit. It's about to die. So beautiful people, I back. I just charged the camera for like two minutes. Um, I used this um, Creole seasoning. Um, some seasoned salt. This lemon pepper, I feel like it's going to be the hit of the situation. And then some cum coriander powder. And um, the garlic, as you can see there. So I'm just going to add some oil to the situation and then I'm going to, I also add a chili powder, oh my gosh I forgot the most important ingredient to make it like really hot. So this is my new technique now, I just stir everything up first and then I put it over the meat so that I can, you know. So I don't have to do all that with my hands so you just add as much oil as you need like as to make it as runny or as thick as you need it to be and then I'm just gonna transfer it over into the chicken so yeah there we go some food porn for you guys <laughs> okay so I have successfully mixed everything together. I'm just going to let it sit until it's ready to go in the oven. And then I'll show you my oven technique as well. Companies in websites where they offer like, oh yeah, we are taking, um, especially when you're graduating, I mean, you're already 